Hello, Art Club, and welcome. Uh, we are going to start off our semester with an abstract tape artwork. So, uh, in order to complete this, I have a piece of watercolor paper. I do have two different widths of masking tape. I also have some Sharpies, both regular and the ultra fine ones. And then I have both watercolor pencils and regular watercolors. I also have um, a paintbrush, a paper towel, and a cup of water off to the side. So I wanna lead you through the first couple steps on how to get this set up, and then you will have lots of freedom and we'll be able to use lots of creativity for the rest of this. So the first thing you want to decide, do you want a white border around your artwork? If you do, that's very easy to accomplish. You can just take the one inch masking tape and tape that off along the edges. I would like to include that on mine, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so I went ahead and did a one inch border all around my paper. If you do not want a border, just skip that part. The next thing we wanna do is put some additional pieces of tape down in any kind of abstract design that you would like. You can use uh, the one inch masking tape, but um, I accidentally ordered something very interesting for the classroom this year. Um, first of all, I had no idea that they made an eighth of an inch wide masking tape, but they do. And because I ordered it by accident, I figured let's might as well use this. So I'm gonna take some of the super skinny tape, but you can also take um, the wider tape if you would want, if you prefer. And I am going to use this uh, to tape off some additional shapes and sections. You can do as many or as few as you would like. All right, I have uh, taped my paper off using the ultra thin tape. If you have pieces running off the edges, that's totally fine because we're going to be pulling the tape off by the time that we're done. I'm going to move the masking tape out of the way and then I'm going to go ahead and pull over my regular size Sharpie. If you would prefer to start this part with a pencil, please feel free to. Right on top of the tape, right on top of everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line to kind of section our paper off in a slightly different way. All right, so this is the um, continuous line that I have gone ahead and added in. If you need to, once you've added it in, if you need to, you know, clean up any of the, any part of the line, smooth it out a little bit more, you're more than welcome to do that. It is watercolor paper, it has some texture, so that line might not be completely smooth, which is totally fine. So at this point, this is where you want to start adding decorations in. What I would challenge you to do would be to decide, all right, how am I going to divide up my sections. So maybe in like this little loop right here, maybe I would do one design and one color. Um, and then maybe in the section next to it, you could do a different design and a different color, however you want to. You can use the regular Sharpie, the skinny Sharpie, and any of the painting or drawing materials that I have out for you in order to decorate this. So I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff added in, both with drawing and then also with watercolor, and I will check back in with you when I'm all done. All right, everybody, I added in some drawing with the different widths of Sharpie, and then I also use watercolor just to fill in the spaces and make it look really colorful. Um, so the last thing that we wanna do after uh, the paper has gotten a chance to dry, if you decided to do painting, we're carefully going to peel off all of the tape in order to reveal our final design. All right, and I have torn off my tape. Do make sure that the paint is completely dry before you do so. Otherwise, you might have a little bit of tearing, but then afterwards you have a really awesome abstract artwork that I hope you enjoyed making. Great job, everybody.